Psalm 68, 19 says, Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Selah. This is a very simple verse in the book of Psalms. And on the surface, it basically tells us that the Lord gives us blessings, benefits, every single day, and that he is indeed the God of our salvation. That last word there is simply a poetic pause in the Hebrew, selah, because Psalms were just that. They were poems, often put to music. But when we look in this psalm a little bit more deeply, this particular verse of Psalm 68 a little more deeply, which, by the way, is a messianic psalm, as you examine it more closely, we can look at this in a more literal translation because there are a number of italicized words here in the King James translation. And they're put there to help us understand a little more deeply the nuances of the Hebrew from which it's translated. If we take those words out and we look at the literal translation, it reads something like this. The blessed Adonai loads us daily the L of our salvation. And that's basically what it says. Now, Adonai is the Lord Jesus himself here in his pre-incarnate form as Lord in heaven. He is God the Son. He is the same Jehovah or Yeshua of the Old Testament. El is the singular name of Elohim, the triune God. It means mighty one and or almighty one and refers to God as one. There is one God. There is one El. There is one Elohim. Elohim simply refers to the plurality of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as the three in one. God, of course, can manifest himself any way he chooses. He, by choice, has chosen to manifest himself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That is his nature. This entire verse is parallel to Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9 in the Lord's Prayer, where Jesus teaches us to pray, give us this day our daily bread. And I love this word, load. This, this word has actually been on my mind for a couple of days now. The, the Lord has actually kept this verse in front of my mind's eye, and it, it's been on my heart. And this morning, on an app that I have, it actually came up as the daily verse. And I said, okay, Lord, you're, you're making me, you're, you're, you're bringing this to my attention, and I wanted to know for what purpose, so I did some research. And I realized that this, that this load, this thing that he lades us with, it's not a burden. It's our supply. It's our daily supply of needs. This load is that which meets our daily needs. So the Lord promises that which Jesus will later teach us in his incarnate form, as God the Son on earth, the God-man, will ask us or will teach us to pray to the Father. Give us this day our daily bread. Provide for us, Father, our daily needs. And then immediately goes in to tell us to forgive our debts or to ask our Father to forgive us our debts or trespasses as we forgive those who are our debtors or who trespass against us, because forgiveness is the heart of the whole thing. And if we walk with a forgiving heart, the Lord forgives us and provides us with our daily needs. Until next time, stay in his word and stay true to his word. In Christ's undying love, amen.